In this class, we're going to summarize Calc 2 and review differentiation from Calc 1. We're taking only two days to review um, all of the Calc 1 material, today on derivatives, next class on definite integrals. So what is Calc 2? The course is roughly divided into three segments. Part 1, evaluating integrals, um, which we've done a little tiny bit of in um, Calc 1 but we're going to learn several new techniques of integration and some problem-solving stuff. Um, part two of the class is applications of integrals from geometry, physics, economics, and probability. And part three is sequences and series. If you want to add up an infinite number of numbers, for example, one plus a half plus a fourth plus an eighth plus a sixteenth plus a thirty-second, et cetera, et cetera, um, does it add up to a finite value? and what value does it add to. So what does this have to do with calculus? To find the answer to an infinite sum problem, we have to take a limit. Okay. That is typically how we deal with infinity in calculus, is make it finite and then take a limit as something goes to infinity. OK, quick review on derivatives. How do we find the derivative if we're given a table of values, a graph, or a formula? So for each example below, we want to estimate f prime of 2. So in part 1 here, I have a table of values. Um, and I would just need to remember that the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. So a derivative is always a slope of a tangent line. So if I want to find f prime of 2, I would estimate it by looking at the change in y over the change in x. And I want to do that close to the x value of 2. So I might look on either side of that x value to get two points and calculate change in y over change in x. 9 minus 1 over 3 minus 1 is 8 over 2, which is 4. That's not the only way to estimate. I could have used um, the point 2, 4 itself, the x value of 2, and used 2, 4, and 3, 9, or 2, 4, and 1, 1 as my two points. OK, if I want to estimate the slope of the tangent line at 2, if I'm given a graph, I put a point at 2, x equals 2. As carefully as you can draw a tangent line, and then we'll draw a triangle to try to estimate the slope of that line. So that looks like approximately 4. That looks like approximately 1. So I would estimate the slope of this tangent line is 4 over 1 or 4. Now if you have a formula, we can be exact. Because if I know f of x is x squared, I can use um, the power rule from calculus 1 to know that the derivative f prime of x is equal to 2x. And then f prime of 2. I would plug a 2 into the formula 2x, so 2 times 2, which is 4. 